Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. I hope everybody had a most blessed, splendid day. There's another hot one in South Carolina. Pleasant View Farms first in the chat. Oh, he's excited to see something, I think. He's excited to see something. How's everybody doing out there? We got Desert Ox in the house. What's up, Desert? David Turville, Duane Baker, Gene Edwards, Buzzard66, Randall Maggie, Carvid Kid, Bradley Simmons, Watchdog33 says, I'm ready for winter. I'm ready for the temperature change. I agree. It's, uh, I can only take so much heat. Yeah, I'm ready for, yeah, I agree. Yeah. We're going to continue uh, bailing this hay field. I got it all cut. All we got to do is bail it. Uh, most of these bales are going to be for Uncle Billy. Because Uncle Billy has a brand new old school cow barn made by Pleasant View Farms in the chat there. So we're going to be checking that out. It's actually hiding right over there. <laughs> Man, it's nice. It's very, very detailed. Good, good looking cow barn. So I'll show that off here in a little bit once we get these bales up and made for the uh, the cows. What's up, Simon Sampson? Fills up quick, says Pleasant View. What fills up quick? The, uh, the, uh, the baler? Are you talking about the chat? <laughs> the chat does fill up kind of quick, doesn't it? Right at the beginning, we get everybody pours in and says, Hello, Frosty. How are you, laddie? But yeah, this is our first cut of the spring. We just made it through winter. If you've been keeping up on this series, uh, we are now in April. Yeah, we're in the month of April. And we're sitting at about 62 grand, which isn't too bad. I, d I made a few financial changes, sold some stuff, traded some things in. So I'll show you what all we uh, switched up here in a little bit. I sent the barn off to Giants, so everyone crossed their fingers, this pleasant view. Really? Nice. That'll be awesome if they approve it. Ah, uh, we got Cape Strain coming in there with the 20 bomb. This is no stream for me. It's 114 degrees outside and 82 in my room. Not cooling off. Hope you have a fantastic stream. Ugh. Yeah, that's no fun, brother. Yeah. Hundred, ah, it's a little spicy for you. Well, hopefully once uh, the sun goes down, it'll cool off, so you can at least uh, enjoy some ranked Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the big uh, super chat there, Koopy. Hope you cool off there, brother. Get some ice out of the freezer and lay it on your nipples. Just lay on the bed and just let the fan melt the ice on your, uh, you know. You'll feel a lot better. You'll cool down real quick. I do it all the time. <laughs> Is that too much information, chat? Oh, what's up, Patrick Wheatley? Hello. Nathan Vincent says, guess you just answered. What did I answer? I'm following three of the series right now. A little behind, but it's been cool so far. Well, thank you, buzzard. Hi, Frosty. It's 107 here in Wisconsin, and I have no AC, says Harry Adams. Woo! Yeah, that's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah, there's, I've, I've had a couple houses growing up in the past with no AC at all. And then, uh, of course, as a truck driver, there's been trucks I've driven with. They say it had AC, but it sure didn't feel like it, man. My AC in some of those trucks I drove was the windows down and drive fast to get some airflow going. Oh, what's up, Kendall Yoder? Fent Farmer's in the house. What's up, Fent Farmer? That's a sweet baler. Heck yeah. Glengar boy and the air, the air gaming, uh, is that what they're called? Agri, Agri Air. Agri Air team. The ones who made Bally Spring, they're the ones who made this baler. It's stinking sweet. You can also paint this baler as a Massey. A New Holland. I don't know if you can do Challenger. I think it's Massey, New Holland. Case and Heston. Those are the uh, four different paint job options. Yeah, it's sweet. It's got nice sound effects and visual 
animations when it's folding and all that. It's pretty cool. I have a nice. All right, so hopefully this these bales of hay last a long time. I noticed that the cows on this new cow barn only require 15,000 liters to fill up their their trough, but they go through it quick too. So we'll, we'll have to see how that all works out. Did you see the little tractors I bought today in Discord? I sure did. Got a couple little Alice uh, die-cast tractors. Those are pretty sweet looking, man. And then uh, Mac Morrison was, he posted some, uh, what were those? Like Alice Chalmers riding lawnmowers? I didn't even know they made riding lawnmowers. Those things were cool as can be. What's up, Buck Hunter? Donald Snodgrass put ice in the buck and in front fan. What's up, John McKinley? Nicholas Sager says, I downloaded this map today, and it got me back into farm sim. It is a good map, isn't it? I think it's great for single player people that you know prefer to play single player it's just that perfect size for small to medium equipment and you can almost own every field we don't own every field on this series but that is something i want to save up for so we can buy one more field because i feel like we're conquering what we've got pretty pretty good it wouldn't be a bad idea to add one more good size field I thick my dog breathing on me is cooler than the temp outside. Oh, uh, you think your dog's breathing is ugh. then yeah, you're you're melting cuz dog breath is usually pretty steamy. Blech. Yeah. I'm going to go clean up little patches I missed here so we don't have to come back down this way. And I think these make 9,000 liters or something. I forget. Oh, I forget. What's up, Mia Lazzarine? Hello. Hey, Frosty, how rich are Uncle Billy's cows? Well, that's the thing. There's two bulls, two adult females, and then a lot of baby calves. So it's kind of a, you know, a starter cow barn. Uh, we'll be raising up those calves to be mature. Dairy, milk, dripping, money-making machines. But yeah, right now it's going to be slow moving on the milk because we only got two adult females. But we got lots of little babies that will eventually grow up and provide tons of milk for Uncle Billy. What's up, Greg Zeman? You sure can, Coop. Sure can. I would let anybody borrow those. You don't even have to wash it when you send it back. All right. One more swipey do. Uh, Michael Beetle Betts, thank you for the 10 month anniversary. Says thank you for the trailer on Farm Sim 22. I love it and can't wait to use it. So thanks again, and thanks for taking the time to do it for me. You haven't tried it yet, you jackwagger. I thought you would have already filled that thing up. I, I I edited a John Deere forage wagon for Beetle Bets. I made chat. I made it so he could hold 90. What was it? 90 million? Yeah, I think I made it so he can hold 90 million liters of, you know, grass, straw. A, whatever it is he wants to uh, vacuum up. It's like the vacuum of all vacuums. So, that was... <laughs> I said, how much you want it to hold? And he's like, two billion! What? How about we start with 90 million and let me know if it works good for you. We'll go from there. <laughs> Alright, we got this all picked up. Get these dropped out of here. Such a nice baler. Hmm. There's no sound effects. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Balin's done. I'm going to bring this uh, back to the farm here. Got quite a handful of chores to do tonight. I got me a decent size list. 
Our horses are looking great, healthy, full of uh, hay back there. We do need to water the horses, water the two greenhouses. We'll knock that out real fast after we park the baler and tractor. I keep on coughing, huh? You're not feeling good still. Nice. I wish the case tractor was on console. <laughs> there's a lot of case tractors on console, though. Not this specific one, but there's a lot of them. What's up, Auto Sim Crew? Good evening. Uh, Pleasant View says, I made the barn hold lower amounts of products, so you have to spend more time taking care. Well, there's going to be a little neglecting going on for Uncle Billy's cows. Because, yeah, I noticed that. The 15,000 liters disappears quick. So they're only going to get fed once a day. Unless I'm caught up on chores, maybe I'll give them two feedings a day. But, yeah, there's no way I'll be able to always do it twice a day. But I do like the realism in it. It's pretty sweet. All right, dropping the baler. Good stuff. All right, so I want to show you some financial changes I've done. Uh, new truck. We have a brand new truck added to the fleet. Well, actually, it's traded. We traded in the old Mac for an old International because there was a huge change in money. We actually ended up profiting 20 to 30 grand on the trade-in. So now we're rocking the uh, Case S1800. That's by... Oh, crap. This truck's made by Julian Modding. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm probably wrong. I think that's who it's by. But listen to this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Nice ride. Nice ride. And this is the... It holds the uh, X2 attachment for BC Bueller's Max. It connects to it just fine. Not bad at all. So you can just uh, detach that, just like you would on his Max. That's the Wrinkler grain box. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice look. I thought that looked a little more, even more old school, this uh, nice old International. So that's added to the fleet. Nice interior. It's got that 80s vibe going. Uh, what's up, Michael? It's a beast, isn't that nice? I'm using that IH as a dump truck with the X2 dumper. Love it. Yeah, Shawnee. That's right. That's right. But yeah, that worked out pretty nice. And I made a profit. I made more money uh, trading the truck in, so. Tried to make some smart financial decisions. Uh, you remember that Oliver tractor we had? Eh, I liked it. The Oliver but it wasn't working well with hired workers. So I went, went ahead and sold that. That was like 27 grand when I sold it. And then I replaced it with a new tractor that came out on the Mod Hub today by Schlutsch Modding. It's just a nice little John Deere 5403 or 540, however you want to call it. Um, little guy, only has 66 horsepower, but it's going to be good for doing uh, weed removal and baling the, the little square baler so that's what this bad boy will be used for we do have some weeds growing in a cotton field so we're gonna fire this thing up she even sounds pretty good got my uh, tractor supply company t-shirt on with my case ih hat rocking it today This would be good for uh, weed removal. Not a lot of horsepower, but cheap. I think brand new. This was like under 14 grand. Not bad. Not bad. So we made like 12 grand on the trade-in with the Oliver tractor. Can't, can't complain about that. All right, so we're going to hook up to the weeder and head out to that cotton field. 
and I'll uh, probably get a hired worker removing weeds for us. Yeah! Look at that little combo, huh? Not too shabby, eh? Ah, uh, surprised you didn't do the rusty paint job on the IH. Yeah, I like this. It's a little overboard. A little, little too much. But yeah, I, I did. I was, I was gonna. It was just a little. I don't know. Wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Frosty, how can I look up the specs on my PC so I can download this game on my PC? How can you look up the specs of your own PC? Uh, usually you can do that by going to settings in your PC and my PC and I, I don't remember the exact process. You can probably Google it and it'll tell you exactly how to do that, sir. All right, so this is our uh, sunflower field. It has weeds in it. And we also have a cotton field that has weeds in it. So we'll remove the weeds from uh, the sunflower first. Right. Kind of goes in between each row. Like I said, we'll we'll hire a worker. Isn't it lovely? Uh, may I do the weeding, says Joe. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust you, bro. I don't know. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you're capable of that. Sure, why not? Let's see here. 4.7 work width. Do three headlands, sharp. Clockwise. First waypoint. And go. All right, we'll let Joe Boyer do it. I'm kind of nervous about that. But. So he's going to remove all the weeds in between the rows. That's what this tool does. And our tires are almost going in between. Luckily, there's no... Uh, if you look real close, you'll see weeds in front of us. There's one. There's one. There's one. Yeah, they're not many but enough that it'll bring the yield up by removing them. So. Yeah, we'll let him take care of business there. Uh, I'll drive that Matt Lane. I'll let you hit the next one, huh? You should fly up and go to the small engine and tractor show, says Mac Morrison. I ain't got the money to be flying around these days, you know what I'm saying? Right-click on the start menu and click on system. Yes. Listen to Coop there. He'll tell you how to do it. Yo, Frosty. How's things there, laddie? Glengar, you missed the intro. I was using the Heston Baylor. And everybody was saying, oh, that's a pretty Baylor. I was like, Glengar, boy, he's, he's the man behind that story. But yeah, we just made some uh, hay bales. All right, we'll leave Joe to uh, finish the weeds. So 71% yield. Eight, wait a minute. Yeah, 80% yield. Huh. I overdid it on nitrogen on this field. Dang it. I messed up. But we got lots of crops in the next, probably next episode, we might have a lot of harvesting to do. Uh, just a couple more months on the wheat, on the wheat field. Uh, two more months on the barley. And then we got a couple canola fields that are almost ready to harvest. Yeah, man, it's nice. All right, we're going to get these bales picked up and bring them over to a brand new cow barn. We'll finally get to check out that cow barn by Pleasant View Farms. And this is the uh, Heston Baler collector that is needed to pick up the bales. Stinking sweet. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know if it was supposed to do that. Alright. Get nice and close here. Give a little bumper oozy. 
And you gotta hit it like right in the center. It's a little, little touchy, but I like that. You gotta be a little more precise. There we go. Yes! Uh, I didn't make it, but I work with 4D. Well, that's what I, that's what I told everybody. You and the uh, ag, Agri Air team and everybody. Uh, hi, Frosty. I'm doing good, Polecat704. Uh, we got Henry Bruckner. Says, thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome, Henry. But thank you for the $2 super chat, Henry. Appreciate it, buddy. This should be, uh, I wonder how long these bales will last for, uh, Farmer Billy's cow barn. This is going to be a lot of, lot of, uh, hay. And stock. Right. Thing's a beast. It holds 10 bales on a full load. go and one more come back for the rest after we uh unload this here we go all right then it folds right back in there look at that all right we're about to check out that new cow barn chat you ready for this pleasant view valley <laughs> pleasant view farms uh, we like to call him Pleasant Valley Ranch Dressing, but his official name, Pleasant View Farms, he should be in the chat. Uh, we're about to check out his latest cow barn that is in the works, and uh, it's pretty sweet, guys. He's going to try, from what I've seen in the chat earlier, he's going to send it to Giants and maybe get lucky, and it'll be uh, available for people on PC, I imagine. I don't know if it would be a console barn. Probably PC only, I'd, I'd say. But you never know. You never know. Oh, I also traded my pickup truck in. Uh, Uncle Billy and I, I traded the Ford. So he's got the Ford, I got the Chevy now, and I got a little cash out of that deal as well because this is worth way more than the Chevy because uh, it's got some custom stuff on it. So yeah, Uncle Billy really likes the Ford. So I was like, you know what? A truck's a truck. Let's trade it. Give me some money, baby. So yeah, we're running the uh, CK30 Chevy now. All right, here it is. Here it is. There's the new cow barn, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get out and take a tour. What do you say? So I did my normal landscape and, you know, all that good stuff. Got a little shed here. Uh, Uncle Billy's got this Massey with a shovel on the front. I don't know what he's going to do with it. It's like brand spanking new. It has like zero hours on it, but it's sitting there. I don't know what we'll use it for. And then this is to handle the manure. And we'll also probably get a bale spike for the Kubota. But here we go. So here's the uh, tour. Right here is where the slurry builds up. So this is where you would load up your slurry eventually. And I've already got things uh, going in here. We, we've already gave them some food. So this is their feeding trough here, which is full, pretty much full. It holds 15,000 liters. Um, it's not quite topped off, but... And then over here is their little area where you can put straw bedding, which it needs more straw. Like I said, we got two bulls, two grown-up females, and then a lot of baby calves uh, that are like one month old. So We do have a uh, manure, manure pit over here, and it's filled up quite quickly. Uh, we got 27,000 liters. That's after one month of fast forwarding time. That's a lot of crap. So there will be no shortage of manure. 
All right, here's the cool part. Uh, this gate right here, this is where you purchase your animals. Or pick up delivery with your uh, livestock trailer. All right, now we're going into the inside. Can't remember if there's a light switch. We'll go in the other way. Yeah, I got the lights on in this area. So same again, Th through here you can put straw bales in here. Or you can shoot straw with a shredder, which has been very nice. I tested it, it worked. So you can shred the bales or you can just drop them whole, whichever one you prefer. Uh, no, I think it should make it to console. Nothing should hold me back. I don't. Okay, nice, nice. Chili with beans or betters? I do like chili with beans. Hey, Frosty, do you ever use the John Deere medium sized tractor 4755? It can have over 800 horse for under 100K. I do not. Frosty, I'm on the white farm. I'm trying to sell French fries to the diner. I drove over there, and it will not take the pallets of fries. Any ideas? I have not sold any French fries yet, so I do not have an idea. That sucks, because we've got a crap load of french fries. I would try selling it somewhere different if that place won't take it. Uh, Fent Farmer, thank you for the 299, or the 199, my bad. Thank you for the $2 super chat. That's Fent Farmer, 1167. Thank you very much, Daddy. I do appreciate that. Ian W also coming in with the Australian $5 super chat says, hello, Frosty. My internet just went down. They had a power outage and they are working on it. And I hope to be back online soon. Well, I hope so too. How were you able to send that without having internet? Rest. But thank you. I do appreciate that. I want to turn these lights on. I think that's what this switch does. How do I turn these lights on? Pleasant view. Do these lights not turn on? Okay, we got a light switch here. Okay, those are on. Maybe that's the light switch for that. Okay, that light switch is on. I don't know where... Oh, here's a light switch. Nah, that's the light switch to get upstairs. And maybe the lights are on. They're just not too bright. I don't know. But this is the milking station. Tell me that's not sweet. Look at this milking station. Frosty, how do you give pig straw on this map? You just put it right where, they're, where they would eat their feeding trough. You sit the bales right there. And that's how the straw bedding fills up on this map. Yes, sir. Uh, they only come on during milking time. Ah, milking times. Mm, and what milking times? Is that like every hour or... That's cool. What's up, Evan Lane? Uh, Evan Lane's in the house. Is Frosty? Is that you? Love you, bud. Long time no see. Hope family as well. My baby is doing good. Family is good on this side. I wish she'd stop by more, Evan. We're always here on YouTube. Yeah, Facebook's done. I'm, I'm not ever going back to Facebook. So, yeah, if you want to hang out, brother, we would love to have you. We're here, like, Monday through Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, every night, pretty much. Right here on YouTube. But yeah, th that's the detail is pretty stinking sweet there, sir. Do these open? That's so cool. Do the cows actually go in there? That's class. Been looking for a nice milking parlor. Oh. Please tell me the cows show up in there. Oh, baby. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and also 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Cows show up. Ow! Oh! Oh, baby. Yeah, all right, we baby. Got, I got to remember that. Yeah. All right, so once we get all our chores done tonight, which we got quite a bit to do, we'll make sure we we stop time at around 6 p.m. I want to see these babies in here. That's going to be f really cool. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pleasant View, for letting me show everybody this. That is awesome. All right, so that's the milking parlor, which works. You're gonna see cows there later tonight. And then this is where the milk gets stored. And outside here, here, I'll put the symbols back on so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. I've got everything memorized. You're like, yeah, right. All right, interactive zones, there we go. 
So uh, this is where you load up the milk, and this is where you drop bales, I'm assuming. That's what I'm thinking, is you drop, like, straw bales here, maybe. But he does have a little uh, thingamajiggy up here, which you can go upstairs. And, uh, yeah, see? We can look right outside. Look at that! Yeah, if you wanted to get real fancy, I think you could get one of the uh, bale chutes, the little elevator things, which I think I have one installed. You could sit that outside there, maybe, and it would shove them right up in here. I don't know if that'll work or not. But either way, it's got a cool door there, and those can open and close. So if we did have some uh, bales up here, we could literally just chuck them out the window here. <laughs> Pretty sweet, though. Very good stuff. Right, what's this? Storage is empty, so if we wanted to spawn something, we would just click on this right here and spawn it. And it'd probably show up somewhere for us to grab and throw down there. You know what I mean. You know what I mean? Boy. Pretty stinking cool. I can't wait to see the uh, cows in the parlor. Oh. Uh, yeah, bales go in there, and you get them out up in the loft. And then they spawn out in the cow yard. Ah! Spawn some little bales, and they will auto-stack up in the loft. So does it only take little bales, or will it take my Heston bales? If not, I'll just park my Heston bales in the... Uh, storage shed back there but i guess we could test it instead of talking about it i could test it but yeah what do you think chat what do you think of the uh pleasant view old school cow barn that's what it's called too an old school cow barn barn right uh frank hammond thank you for that two dollar super chat there brother super sticker actually it's got a kitty cat exploding with love and happiness thank you frank I'm using my mo oh, your mobile phone. Gotcha. Uh, only little bales. It won't take... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So it won't take big bales, which is fine. These are for uh, feeding anyway. So I'm hoping... Ugh, this might be too high for this specific shed. Hang it. I was hoping I'd have the height good. If not, we can fix it. I don't know. It's going to be close. Nah, no way. Yeah, we'll have to uh, down stack those. There you go. Nice. Let's go pick up the rest of those bales out in the field, and then we'll... Uh, Figure something out with storing those in there. <laughs> All right, let's get this unfolded. And get to picking up some more bales there. That Pleasant View Farm guy sure is time. I know, man. What's up, Sim Station? Haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. And uh, Simulation Station, he also made a video like yesterday or the day before of a farmyard build with uh, Pleasant View's new cow barn there. So go check that out if you want to see where his imagination took him with his landscaping skills. I think we got two more to pick up. Dang, not bad. We got 16 good sized bales out of this field. Pretty happy with that. 
Nice barn. Isn't that nice? The bunker, you can put bales in it, and it will accept. You have to put them in the bunk, though. You have to put bales in the bunker. For... Yes. For food or straw? What do you mean? Yeah, I, t I, I messed around with it, and I noticed I could drop a solid straw bale real close to the uh, where they would, like, lay down in their little pens, and it seemed to work. And then I also shredded the, the uh, straw. That worked. And then food. The only thing I've done with food was I fed them with a forage wagon right at the trough. So I haven't experimented with, a like, a hay bale. All right, get this folded back in. This load will fit under the shed perfectly. The hay ring. I don't think there is a hay ring. Uh, Frosty, is this only a PC map? No, this is a cross-platform map. It's called The White Farm. Yep, you can get this on console and PC. But... A lot of the mods and a lot of the buildings and a lot of the stuff I'm using are PC only. But the map itself, yes, cross-platform. I need to remember that when I'm picking up bales next time to only go six, like six bales. It might even fit eight in there. Let's see how close this gets. Uh, even, even, it doesn't matter because the trailer's gonna conflict. Hang on. Yep. Son of a biscuit. But yeah, a pile of six seems to get the job done there. Just need a strong enough. I hope maybe the Kubota will be able to push those in. degrees and I know all the Wisconsins are saying they're melting today uh, hi Frosty it's been 100 degrees here says Wisconsin oh. farmer I know hot hot mama uh, the family says hello this is Mitch did you hear about Jimmy how he cracked corn and he didn't care <laughs> hmm. cow barn is epic that's Glengar I can't wait till 6 p.m. in, in, in the game to see those cows in the milk parlor. Oh. That is going to be pretty cool. And the way that it's timed, that's pretty slick. All right. We'll store this here from now on, the trailer anyway. And that's good to know. So straw bales, when we make our little baby straw bales, I'm going to start whenever that happens we are going to bring a bunch of them over to this barn to store them up top in the attic because it's it'll store them and then spawn them out into the uh farmyard in here that's pretty sweet all right let's take a time out here and i need to purchase a bale handler for the kubota so we're just gonna get one real quick that is for a f you know what's that for front loader so we got this one let's see here just want something that can handle bales probably get my favorite one here Front loader, manual, yes. We'll buy it. There we go. It's my favorite attachment for uh, front loaders. Uh, let's see, what is the name of that cow barn, Frosty? Old school cow barn, it's not public yet. 
It's by Pleasant View. It is not released yet to the public, but uh, he's working on it. We have been in the high 70s in Western New York all week. Ooh, that is nice. Hey, Frosty, hello. For food, you can put a hay bale in the bunker. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, Ann McPherson. What's up, Ann? Thank you for the Canadian $2 super chats. As thanks for your streams. Thank you, Ann McPherson. Thank you very much, Ann. I didn't catch what you said. What's the name again? Oh, my goodness, Dustin. I told you today in my post. You even, you even asked in the community post, and I told you. It's called The White Farm. The White Farm. All right, see what kind of horsepower this Kubota has. Nice. Plenty of power to push it all in there. Come on, baby. Don't be silly. I know, I know the Heston bales can be a little weird. The handle. Yeah, it's doing that weird crap. Dang it. Only thing I don't like about the Heston bale stuff is the bales themselves are just kind of odd to maneuver. They get like, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, something's up with the uh, the bale itself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The old push a out, I guess. Right, this might not go very well. <laughs> might not go very well. Maybe it's, uh, maybe I need to put these at regular length. Maybe that'll help. Let's try that, see if it's any better. Ah. I uh, must have. Uh, okay, my, no. Uh, let me let me double check. It might have been the because I had the extended forks. Let's see if it handles them better now. That might be the problem. Either way, we're gonna tip over. Yeah, see that? They get like stuck in there. I've I've it's always I've always noticed that with the Heston bales. Oh, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Ow! No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyways. We'll go uh, test this out. All right, we got our first hay bale on here. We got about 1,100 pounds of hay in that bale. It's packed tight. And we can just shove this thing, well, partially. We can just shove it right into the uh, trough. Uh, that Kubota is strong. Hey, Frosty, I think the Forks does better with them bales. Well, I'm going to watch you feed the cows, then I'm out. All right. I didn't hear because I'm putting stuff away. Did you say you got the others to shred or not? I've shredded. I shredded bales. I noticed there was only one spot you could shred bales at. Pleasant. That's right here. So if you have a shredder and you pull around right around here, it'll sh it'll shred bales into here. That's the only place I could get it to work. Which seems realistic to me. This is like a enclosure that you would want to blow the straw in for bedding. Yeah, if I was parked like right around here, it'd blow the straw into there. Otherwise, I just dropped an actual solid straw bale like close to the... I think I was dumping them like just close to here or anywhere it seemed to take it. Can't remember a hundred percent. Uh 
Oh, the sh I haven't even got it. I didn't get it. Uh, yeah. I haven't got to check the sheds yet today, buddy. I apologize. I haven't had time to check it out, man. Alright. Role play. We'll try not to run the cows over. Uh, I don't have a choice when they, when they walk through me. That's not my fault. That is a chunky bale, eh? All right, let's try this just by sitting it right here. Yep, 85%. So it took 15% of that bale and filled up their food. So here's their cow. Yep, that filled them up. So they got 15,000 liters. Uh, they are low on straw. So we're gonna purchase some straw because we don't have any straw. We're kind of in need of straw, so. Let's just buy a bale and we'll get to test out that real quick. Let's buy one. All right, so with the Heston bales, it seems like if you grab them at the very bottom of the bale, it works pretty good. Don't try to poke it anywhere else. Like in the middle, not as good. If you try to get it down below, seems to work all right. All right, let's get, let's get us a straw bale here. Frosty, when, when you first drive in, is that crap? Yes, that's a bunch of manure on the left. And that's produced manure over one month. 27,000 liters of manure in one month. <laughs> Those cows got a crapping problem. All right, so I think all I got to do is just sit this, like, right here. See if it takes it. All right, that... Did not take that one. All right, maybe it was over on this side. I had it working. Whoop. I think we have to literally like sit it in the the area where they would lay. Yep, there she goes. There she goes. She just took the whole bale. I, I like that too. So you got to drop it like where they would be laying literally like lay it right in there so that's cool if you had baby bales it'd be even more realistic because you could role play that you know put a little bale in each spot and it probably wouldn't fill up all the straw if that makes any sense so yeah i think uh once we do have crops to harvest that provide straw we'll be making the little 120 bales and storing them up in the attic and then we can just chuck them all down and put them in each bed area for like realism I'd be cute, man. Is it raining? Oh, it just started raining on us, chat. What's that weather report saying? Oh, yeah, we got rain till 11 in the morning. So right now it's 9 o'clock, 54 degrees, April. So we got rain for the next hour. In game hour. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna buy one more bale. Because they are not quite full on bedding there. Has to be up where the free stalls are at, says Pleasant View. Has to be up where the free stalls are at. So is that the only place to put straw? Or is there a way? I'm just gonna mess with this chat. I'm gonna see if we put it like in the actual bed area here, if it works. Yes, that works too. Nice. All right, so either way, if you're trying to do straw, you can sit it anywhere where the pig, or pigs, where the cows would be resting. Or they're, you know, their hangout spot. 
Nice. So just lay it in here. That's cool. So that's like one massive straw trigger. As long as you lay it on that area. Good staff, mine. Right. There you go. So let's check them again. Uh, they're almost full. It looks like they hold, I don't know, 20, 25,000 liters maybe, a straw. So almost got them topped off. They're full of food. They're slowly producing milk because we only got two adult females. One there and one there. <coughs> 48 calves, brown Swiss. 48 calves, Holstein. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So what do you think, chat? What do you rate... What do you rate the old school cow barn by Pleasant View? Pretty flippin' slick, eh? Nice. Let's save this here for leftovers. Alright, let's try to get those bales put in storage before they get too wet. That'd be cool. If your uh, bales, if they were left out in the weather... Like they uh, lost their amount of liters, like what, what, what you could call that, like uh, I don't know what would be a good name for that mod. See, it's doing it again. Dang it! Or did that one flip over? Nope. That's there. You go. I ain't doing these one by one. No way. I think we're able to hold three at a time. Oh my goodness. Yep, yep. Now we got us a mess. Good evening, Troy Watson. Decaying mod, yes, store. Frosty, if you want a nice old grain truck, get the International with BC Bueller bed and the rusty version. Already got it, Dustin. When did you... <laughs> I like you, Dustin. You're funny. You're a funny, funny man. All right. Let's get my uh, cleaning up skills. Can this thing not even pick up two bales at a time? If that's the case, we're going to have to trade the Kubota in for a uh, telehandler. Because <laughs> it can barely do two bales, chat. <laughs> yeah, that rear end's a flying in the air there. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, what pig, go moo. I'm going upstairs. Good, don't trip. Hope you feel better. Cleveland game still on rain delay, is it? Rain with very few clouds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, look at those cotton fields out in the distance. Oh, so pretty. So far in this series, the cotton bales were our money maker. That's the biggest profit we've made on anything so far is selling those four big round cotton bales. Taking a little longer to clean up than I was hoping because I dumped the whole pile on the ground. There you go. Some heavy bales. Whew! 1,100 pounds each. If you want a nice grain truck, get what Dustin said. Jimmy, watch your mouth. Uh, we got Elizabeth Sturdy coming in with the five pounds. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Says, I'm in bed now. Ready to watch you for the rest of the stream. 
Ow! Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, I did. The International. The one that just got updated today. I traded it in. Beginning of the show, I showed everybody. I'll show you guys again. I don't know if we'll be using it at all tonight, because, again, there's nothing to harvest. It's just another uh, working on the farm, working in the fields. Got some weed removal to do, which reminds me. We need to switch the other guy. We'll come back to this quickly. Let's borrow Farmer Billy's truck. Gonna head over to that sunflower field and switch the worker over to the cotton field to remove weeds. Because he's probably already done with the sunflower. Yeah, there he is, way down there. I don't know why he's sitting there, though. It's a weird spot to stop working. What happened? What happened? Did he break my tractor on the first day? If I see any weeds in here, I'm gonna flip out. Where them weeds at? All right, it looks pretty clean. I think he got them all. Yep. So now we're going to switch him from field 15 over to field 17. See all these weeds in my uh, cotton field growing? So that's what we're going to do. Swap them over there. I was called into work due to someone getting injured. Yes, he is okay. What's up, Mr. Fire Slaying? You were supposed to have the night off, huh? Hello, Located 3, and welcome back to the Blizzard Express. Saw him post a picture of his fancy trip. Looks like he's excited to put the miles in again. <clears throat> First time catching a live. I've watched plenty of your videos. Keep up the good work, says Cogs FS19. Thank you, sir. Needed fixed, I mean. So was there anything you found that, that didn't fix? that needed fixed. Not that I can, well, one thing. Sorry, chat. Gotta help my brother. Gotta help my brother Pleasant View out. The only thing I noticed on the new cow barn is the manure pile. So from here, looks beautiful, right? Looks good. Now look over here, look at this. Something with the fill plane. It's clipping, it's like clipping off the pile. That's the only visual thing I've noticed, sir. See how that kind of looks like it's invisible underneath, like it's not touching the ground. I don't know if maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe you'd wanna think about putting See how you got the concrete here? Maybe putting a concrete wall to about right there to like close it in, make it look cool, or I don't know, figure out how to make that look like it's touching the ground. Other than that, man, the only thing I haven't got to see is the milk parlor in action, which we are gonna check out later. And I haven't tested out the mini bales, which we'll be doing that in the future. Other than that, this thing's sweet, man. Love it. Very cool. Very, very nice. And I imagine these lights come on at night, or th those are on already, aren't they? Yeah, those look bright. That's cool. So even at nighttime, this will be lit up. Nice. Is Scooty Pooty in here? Did Scooty Pooty make it in? I put all his lights over here. They're hard to see, chat. They're right there. I got one here, so at nighttime, all these little uh, garden lights is what I call them. Oh, they're gonna like light up these little trees and bushes all along the barn here. I thought it'd look pretty nice at that night time. So I'll have to check that out too. All right, let's go for a jog.
Where's my John Deere at? There he is. Is that cow barn for con- That cow barn ain't even out yet, Levi. They come on with the light switch inside. Ah, okay. So you can, okay. Do they auto turn on at night though, or do you still have to hit the switch? Oh, this is more sunflower, my bad. I thought this was a cotton field. All right, cool. So big old sunflower field here that's got some weeds in it. If you look right there, we got a weed. Yep. We'll get him on a course here. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go, Matt Lane. Matt Lane was the first one to ask earlier, so he's going to rock this John Deere. He's a huge John Deere fan. All right, so I don't think doing this in the rain affects anything. We're just removing weeds, so it's not going to, like, hurt the field yield or anything. There you go. I'm going to let him continue working there. There's the interior of this. Sluch modding just came out today on the Mod Hub. Little 66 horsepower... Uh, John Deere tractor. Nice for light work, like weeding, and it's going to work on the, the little square John Deere baler. I'm going to use this to pull that. Yeah. Here we go. Sean Mosier. Will it be interesting to see the age span of cows and quantity that will appear in the parlor? One would assume it would just be the milk and age maturity cows. If it's accurate to that, we're only going to see two cows in there. There's only going to be, because I only got two adult females. So if it's accurate, we'll only see two. But if it's if it's just, a, you know, if it's just cows in general, you're going to see baby calves hooked up to it. <laughs> so that'll be something else we'll find out. Yeah, that's cool. Either way, it's a pretty sweet cow barn. Yeah! Another thing we can do in the rain that won't affect anything is uh, spread some manure. I do have a field that needs covered. So that's getting uh, de-weeded right now. You look real close. See this little path the John Deere's taken? It's getting rid of all those weeds. Those will disappear in a minute. Good. But yeah, we need to... Field 13, see how it's kind of orangey? I want that thing looking nice. So we're gonna drop a lot of manure on it. You feel me? Let's do it. Pleasant view, is it only available in red or are the color selection options when placing it? That I forgot to look at as well. I just, I liked, I thought the red looked pretty sweet. But yeah, I didn't even check if you could change the color. Good question. Got a little tired of farming sims, so I got a job on a dairy farm in real life. Couldn't be happier. Nice! That's awesome. How many uh, cows are in the uh, dairy farm you're working at? Is it like a huge operation or more like a small family farm type of deal or? Very nice, sir. that sounds awesome. The sound effects when you were running were great. You like that? <laughs> all right, so that's all cleaned up. Let's go get our manure trailer. Ooh, it's windy out too. But yeah, this is uh, this was Uncle Billy's truck. We uh, traded it in, so now we have his old Silverado. He gave me a little cash in return because the Ford was worth more. So he's got the Ford, I got the Chevy. We got the Megs in there that need dropped off at the warehouse. All right, manure, manure. Where are you? We also. With the extra money, when we sold the Oliver, I bought an old Ford tractor here, which will be good for doing some uh, dirty work, like hauling manure. So that is exactly what we're going to do with it. 
Got 24,000 pounds of manure back in here. So even though I traded in a Ford pickup, I got me a Ford tractor in, uh, in place of it. How do you feel, Uncle Billy's cows, their TMR, and did you get my... Yeah, I said thank you, uh, Elizabeth. You didn't hear that? Said I'm in bed now, ready to walk. I said thank you very much for that. Maybe you were still walking upstairs. <laughs> thank you so much, Elizabeth. And I'm just feeding them hay for now. Yeah, I'm going to feed my cows TMR, and Uncle Billy's cows will probably just get some hay for a while until I know I got plenty of... Uh, TMR mix for both cow barns. Sounds amazing. Congrats. There's a small dairy farm up the road. Around 1,400 cows. Close to 700 are milk three times a day. Jeez! Frosty is the only YouTuber I watch for streams. And t no, you don't. I saw you in someone else's stream, you liar. Don't you lie to me, boy. Don't you? Do you not think I don't watch other streams? Solar, you gotta watch yourself. You gotta watch yourself, boy. But I do appreciate you watching me, buddy. But it's okay to watch other people. My goodness. I watch all kinds of other streamers. <clears throat> Having a good time with some chip and a cold Pepsi, says Mike Lane. I love it. So we're heading down the road here a little further. Got the wipers on. Just hauling our turds down the road. Oh, yeah. It's a good uh, turd hauling tractor, isn't it? It almost looks like it's meant to be. It's a nice looking combo. All right. So nitrogen map should be on the bottom left. It should be yellow. We're gonna try to get that in the green. So my my planter and my cedar do not have fertilizer. They're straight seed. So that's why I like to do all the fertilizing with slurry and manure. Get it all prepped and ready, and then the cedar or the planter can just do its thing. Ooh, she's struggling on this hill. Come on, baby. Be shy. Oh, she's really having a hard time pulling this trailer. 100 and... 60? I thought it had 160 horsepower. Struggling a little bit. Uh, we got Wolf Shade 28 also coming in with the $5 super chat and says, Keep up the good work, Frosty. You're the only YouTuber that you YouTuber, YouTuber that I've actually gave money to. So you must be doing something right. Well thank you, Wolf Shade. And that's not your first time sending too, so I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you, Wolf Shade. 28 and thank you all that do uh, tune in every day i appreciate it all newcomers glad to have you as well uh we're a bunch of farming maniacs i love farm sim stream it usually three to four days a week i mix in a couple other games here and there but i i love farm sim if you haven't noticed i, I kind of got a problem with playing farm sim all the time but i think it's a good problem you know, it's a very nice, relaxing simulator. There we go. Got the thunder and everything. Yeah, this tractor almost can't handle this trailer, but that's all right. As long as it can pretty much get the job done, we'll, we'll be happy with it. It's starting to rain harder, isn't it? Uh, calms my nerves after school. I love being a farm sim nerd. It's so much fun. It is. It is. And I love mods, so I like mess around with different mods all the time and try different things out. 
How do you get the green name tag? Someone answered that for you uh, the first time you asked. That's being a member there, buddy. Yeah, member. all members, they're usually green. Uh, blue names are moderators like Duan Baker, Red Acres, Stearman, Stevenson. Uh, those are all our moderators. Ford tra you like the Ford Tractor, Cody? Not by it, not by it. Getting the job done. bumpy ride that's because we didn't cultivate it's just a plowed field little on the bumpy side whip a nay nay here now that she's almost empty the the ford's pulling it just fine <laughs> Isn't that weird that Chevy never made a tractor? That'd be kind of interesting. A Chevy tractor. A Chevrolet farm tractor. Why not? Or a Dodge tractor. Seriously, I'm just... That's kind of... You know, it'd be kind of cool to see what that would look like. Can you imagine, like, a little tractor with, like, a Dodge Ram grill? <laughs> That'd be interesting. I'm um, thinks on renewing this membership when the time comes. Well, thank you, Solar. What's up, Brian Pilzinski? Hello. You have an emoji of a manure spreader? That's caught. Yes, I do. Slinging turds. There you go. If you're a member, you got stickers to throw. There you go. <clears throat> I'm not even sure how long I've been here, says Polecat. Me neither. I can't keep track. How's it going, Frosty? I'm late, so I restarted the stream, but we'll say that cow barn is great. It is. It is good. Anything uh, Pleasant View makes is good. Uh, he's he's the reason that the Alice Chalmer tractors exist on Farm Sim. Like the only other guy that has an Alice, I think, is like Julian F. Modding. He's got the big uh, what what's that thing called? I forget the name of the tractor. It's on the mod hub. It's the big mama one with the articulated turning. Other than that. I mean, we got Pleasant View with the 8000 series, the 7000 series, the D21. So yeah, he's our he's our Alice guy. Chevy and Dodge both know they could not compete with Deer, hence with Ford no longer makes tractors. Ford was in the game for a long time. All the Fordsons and uh, these TW models. But yeah, the old tractors. There's a lot of old Ford ones. All right. We got an empty manure spreader. Let's uh, clean out the manure pit on the new uh, cow barn. First time getting some manure out of the pit. And I think the way Pleasant made this, at least this is the way I'm going to do it, is pull right up beside here. Maybe not that close to the wall. But we can pull up like somewhere around here. And then when we scoop it up, we'll scoop up this way, back out in there, and load it right there. At least that's what I'm thinking his plan was. I'll, I'll think so. All right, let's clean up our mess here. I never finished cleaning up. 1919, actually, just looked it up. 1919. You're a Kubota guy. Well, there you go. Here's a Kubota. Here's a Kubota. We got plenty of hay to get us by for a while, I'd say. It's weird, Glengar. Uh, the bales are handling a lot better now. I don't know what happened. But I've always noticed that. Like, sometimes they're really hard to handle, but now they seem just fine. I don't know if it's because I'm grabbing them from the bottom of the bale or what, but they seem to be handling better.
Good stuff. Probably leave this here. It is strange, isn't it? I can't imagine a tractor with a Dodge Catfish grill. <laughs> it would be weird. Uh, doesn't for down New Holland, though. Eh. GMC, Chevy owned and operated Samson tractors, but only until the 1920s. There's our manure fork. Get our butts to work. First time trying this out. No cow will be hurt. Don't worry about it. They don't know how to get out of the way. Uh, is that gonna reach? Uh, just, just barely. Then <laughs> it's empty and super slow. Here, we'll just, there we go. Yeah, I might be trading this in for a telehandler. The Kubota's just a little too small. Needs something a little bigger. wet poo. I could have gotten that done faster with a skid steer. Very nice forking tonight. Very nice. What game were you playing last night? Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, that game's been out since like 2012. Still, still a very good game to play every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, not very realistic using this. <clears throat> Need to uh We got enough money. Let's upgrade. I'm not I'm not feeling the Kubota. Sorry, chat. We're going to get rid of this. I think we're leasing it anyway, so. Uh, yep. Return. So, all right. so we're gonna get us something a little heftier. Telehandler. We can get a Kubota telehandler. There we go. There we go. Stick some uh, BKTs on there. We got enough money to buy it outright. And combinations. Manure fork. <clears throat> Ella Handler 2.1, $1,300. There we go. Ah, so we still got a Kubota, but we got something that's going to do a lot better. Go. And the bucket holds more. So that's an advantage. Get it done quicker. Yes, 3,200 pounds in one bucket. Holla! There we go. Much better. Frost, how many mods you got in your game? You only have 78. <laughs> I've lost count, brother. I've lost count. I have no idea. It's way more than 78. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I think last time I checked, I have... 7 to 8 gigs worth of mods. Of just mods. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
How's Ian Oppenheim doing today, sir? You doing all right? Mike Q says, I'm a Case IH fan, but only have a Quixote. What the heck's that? A Quixote? A Quixote? I don't know what that is. Been playing for almost 24 hours straight now. That's not good. You could pass out from uh, dehydration and starvation and muscle loss in your body. <laughs> you might want to go out for a jog or a walk or something there, bro. Uh, Levi says, I'm playing Farm Sim myself and my mod thing. It's at 98% full. Really? I'm a bad boy. You're a bad boy, Levi. Ah, uh, good investment getting this. Kubota was weak. Weak and pathetic. We'll also be able to handle the bales better with this. Whee! He's almost full. That trailer holds like 16,000 liters. Come on, baby. Let's go. I got poop to spread. All right, one last little pinch. All right, Pleasant, I don't know if you're still watching. But look at that. If I drop a little poo on the pile, it gets rid of that fill, that uh, gap. So now it looks like it's all just sitting there. Interesting, eh? So there you go. It got rid of the uh, invisible gap there. stuff. I don't know if we'll need to uh, get more or not. There go. And there you go. Not too shabby. Got us a full load there. What's up, James Ulster? All right, as soon as you picked up that manure, it dropped down to the ground. Holla. Frosty, how many miles? I'd read that one. Go through the gate with it. I just need to get my permit, then I'll get it. Uh, let me see. Frosty, I'm a deer guy, as that is all my family has owned. But in all seriousness, Ford sold their tractor division in 91 to Fiat when they were struggling in relation to money for their car division. So that was the main reason, huh? Yeah, the Fiats look a lot like the Fords, in my opinion. If anybody knows what a Fiat looks like. They kind of got the same body style, almost. Alright, here we go. Get that field finished before it starts really pouring down rain. Frost is playing in poo, lots of it. I'm playing ultra realistic on my farm, sim save, and dang it's tough. It is. I've played on hard economy, like the the most realistic way. Yeah, it is a little rough. Oop. Well. He kinda didn't decide to stop, did he? So we'll just get out of his way. We don't wanna we don't want to slow his day down. So let's just back up and get out of his way so he can continue. There you go, sir. Have a lovely day. Sorry I was in your way. <laughs> there we go. Something is on my nose. Driving me nuts. What is that? Like a little hair or something. 
between all the dogs and cats, there's always, like, hair everywhere in my house. <clears throat> Fiat's my favorite tractor. You like that, Glengar? That's your favorite? There's a good handful of them on, on the uh, mod hub. There's quite a few of them. It's poo spreading time. Wonder if my guy's done uh, picking weeds out on that sunflower field. I doubt it. That's a pretty big field. What's up, Adam Small? What did you have for dinner tonight, says Andrew Moosley? Chicken salads. Chicken salads and grapes. <laughs> A bowl of cold grapes. It was good. Farmer Trio, good evening. Kevin Flores coming in with a 20 bomb. It says, who was your first moderator? My first moderator. My first moderator ever? That would have been on Facebook. And I don't know. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I had some bad luck with moderators at the very beginning of my streaming career. I just kind of let anybody be my moderator, and that was a horrible decision. <laughs> so, yeah, they did, uh, yeah. I had to uh, go through some before I found a, a good crew of moderators. But yeah, I've had many. I don't know who the first one was, to be to be honest. I forget. It's been so long. It's been so long! And he says, What is your favorite type of non-fiction TV show, science, or history? Eh, I'm not big into the science stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I watch, like, yeah. Things I like are, like, Vikings, Mayans, Sons of Anarchy. Walking Dead. There you go, Walking Dead. How's that? <laughs> What's up, Mia Lots of Rain's back. You feeling a little better, huh? Hey, Frosty, think you could throw a hunk of tootie on? I suppose. This is for everyone. Speaking of pets, I need you to foster Ricky for me. I'll FedEx him to you. He seems nice. Ricky. Is it a dog or what is it? <laughs> don't sh don't tell Miss Frosty. She says yes to any animal in need. That's why our house is a zoo. She's, she's too loving and kind. She just doesn't know how to say no. What a crap chat. See how it's grinding it up, trying to keep it from getting all stuck in there. Shoving it out there. Flipping it out. Ooh, party. It was Glengar. Oh. You eat the salads the Pittsburgh way, Frosty? I didn't know there was a Pittsburgh way. What's that? My wife, we just, you know, clean the salad, put it on a plate, put the chicken, french fries, cheese, dressing, dried fruit, whatever else. Eat it. That's how I like it. All right, just about to run out. We're going to have to go back and get more. Dang it. A lot of crap, chat. But the good news is the, the next load will be good enough. We'll be done. All right, let's head back to the uh, farm. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Hoop galore. Good evening, Dust Bunny. How are you? Anyone that knows how to fix a nice bowl of brownie batters? Got to be one of the nicest people around. Miss Frosty's a huge brownie batter lady. She loves it. Like, I like brownies. Like, baked brownies. But she likes, like, when she's at the end of the night, 
She's just winding down, relaxing. She'll just put a little of the batter in a bowl and mix it, put it in the microwave and just eat it. I'm like, what are you doing? Ugh. She loves it. Whatever. Yeah, I prefer a nice brownie. Mm. Love brownies. Ooh. Making me want to go make some brownies. They need a brownie production on Farm Sim. I'd make brownies all day on Farm Sim. Doing a little better, Mia? Good, 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 good. Posted a picture of my little tractor in Discord. I'll have to check it out. I'll check it out after the show there, brother. Brother. Yeah, there ain't no way. Someone said drive this in there. There's no way this is going to fit in there. <laughs> Do you see the opening? Not very big. So that, it's not a choice. All right. I had a feeling this thing wouldn't turn sharp like that. I want to be set up so we can just pull away when we're done. Okay, the weather. See, here's the little strip we still got to complete right here. As far as weeds go, uh, I, ha I look at our hired worker. He's going strong here. He's going back and forth like this. But he's almost done. By the time we get done doing our thing, he'll probably be done weeding. Then after that, we just have some uh, deliveries to make. And then we'll maybe get to fast forward to the uh, cow milking time. I'm excited for that. Get them all in the parlor there. Billy the Bull. Oh my goodness. He's a big boy. Don't lay there. That's not where you lay. Ow. I'm gonna run you over, man. Oh, we might be able to clean out this whole uh, pit. Do nuts belong in brownies? I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't like nuts and brownies. I just like a good old brownie. Chocolate chips. Ooh, peanut butter cups. There's things you can put in brownies. I'm okay with it. Ain't gonna make me mad. I will eat it. Yeah, the nuts, not as much. I was that kid growing up where you got the cosmic brownies with the nuts. I'd, I'd scrape all the nuts off. How many in the chat were like me? You take the wrapper off, scrape all the nuts off, and then eat the brownie. Huh? I can't be the only one, right? The John Deere still going. Got to check the diesel fuel. It should be good. It's 66 horsepower. It kind of sips on fuel. Should be all right. And that weeder attachment's nice and light. Pleasant view. Are you listening, you jackwhacker? Or did you go to bed? Uh, what Kyle say? Uh, fries and cheese. A lot of people don't put the fries on the salad. I think it's an Ohio. And I all, we always put French fries on our salads. So yes, I guess I'm a PA Ohio salad guy. Yeah, you got to man. That's awesome. My first ever steak salad when I was like, I don't know, 10 years old is when I wanted one. It was up in Ohio at like a little pub. Huge. It was like big as me. I'll never forget. That was the biggest salad I've ever had in my life. It was just covered in steak chunks and French fries and melted cheese. It was not a healthy salad at all. Oh, it was a good. He probably went right to work fixing the bar. <laughs> he might have. And that's not, it wasn't nothing big either. Like everything else seems to be pretty perfect. I like it. 
I do love how we can sit bales in any area of where the cows lay down in their, their shelter area. That's pretty cool. That's slick. person B is going to be a little rough. There you go. Not too bad. Trying to clean up along the edge here. It's almost all cleaned up, chap. Weird view, huh? Like there's a little cam, a little hidden camera on the the boom. Come on, scoop that up, daddy. Spick and span. Look at that. That is a spotless manure pit. You wouldn't even know that's where manure goes after that cleansing. And almost a full trailer out of it. And stuff. <clears throat> Alright, beacons off. Lights off. Have fun in the rain, cows. I gotta go finish spreading some turds. All right, final load. And all my fields will be uh, done with nitrogen. We won't have to worry about it for a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. Where do you get your background music? Epidemic sound. Epidemic sound. I subscribe to it. Well, not subscribe to I pay for it. It's like... 10 or 15 bucks a month, something like that. Thousands of tracks. Tons of genres and eras, and it's it's pretty awesome. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. For as much as we uh, stream, try to give you a variety of music each night. Stay close to the edge of where we stopped. Should get the job done. Good evening, Jeremy Bashaw. Hello. Frosty, I haven't played this map yet. Do the roads get covered when it snows? Yes. Yes, you can plow them. We did that on Monday. Yeah, Monday we were plowing roads. Snow. It was winter time on this series. Did you used to work on a farm, or I have not? So, well, I helped on a farm. <clears throat> I bail. I uh, helped load up straw bales one hot summer day, and then uh, there was like a little fresh produce market. The one farmer that lived down the road from where I grew up. I'd occasionally help him out with little things, but yeah, never any like hardcore farming. Would have loved it, but just never got into it, I guess. But yeah, I would have uh, definitely enjoyed the experience. Alright. That's about covered. We'll just look for any gaps I might have missed. It is raining good. Right. Looks like we got some yellow showing up way down here on the edge. Have a good one, Francisco. 
Working on a farm or owning my own is a dream of mine. Might go to college for agricultural science. Go for it, brother. That's what you want to do. Let's see what we're covering there. Yeah. yeah, I think we got it all done. Little gap up ahead here, and that's it. Nothing, just memories. A steak salad sounds sounds nice. I think I'd rather have the fries on the side, though. Doesn't it whip, wilt up all the lettuce? Oh, it's... No, you're, you're... You don't have time to let the lettuce wilt in. You're ready to eat that. Trust, trust me. You're gonna destroy it. No, it's good. Lettuce first. Or salad. Whatever you want to call it. Then put the chicken on. Or the steak. Then put the cheese over the hot meat so it melts. Then drizzle whatever dressing you like or whatever type of sauce, whatever. And then, uh, I like that we like using like dried cranberries for some reason. It just tastes so good mixed in with everything. We'll throw those on there. And there's, you know, there's other things you can put on there. You can put those little crunchy things that some people like. I'm not big on the crunchy whatever those are called. They're kind of nasty to me, but some people love them. And then you just demolish it. What's up, Tony Knight? I got crap. <laughs> it's multiplying. It's everywhere, guys. We got three different manure pits. I'm tempted to get rid of the manure pit over by my one farm, because I don't think we need it anymore. I've got too much crap everywhere. Too much crap, man. Too much crap. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to get rid of that. <laughs> I really do, chat. There's just too much manure on this map. Uh, I don't think we need this. It's I've already cleaned it out. And with Farmer Billy having manure and the pigs giving us manure, I just I don't want it. Okay? Yeah, we got rid of it. It's got some smidgens we need to clean up at some point, but no biggie there. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, top off the cows in my, my cow barn here. All right, sitting at 3%. They're all filled up. Perfect. All right, I do want to water the greenhouses and fill up the water for the horsies. So I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, new cow barn. We will be using that from this point on, Farmer Billy's cow barn over there. And special thanks to Pleasant View for letting me show everybody and try it out. I love it. Definitely very nice mod, sir. Fill that bucket of water. Right. Get this one topped off as well. Right. Have to go get some more water out of the pond. Free water. How much you paying Uncle Billy to use his manure? The, here's my here's my question. I was thinking for role play purposes. Anytime we sell Farmer Billy's milk, we uh, split it 50-50. What do you think? What do you think, chat? Huh? That makes sense because it's his cows, but I'm the one doing all the work taking care of them. So I feel like... Splitting at 50 50 is not a bad uh, bad idea. And I can easily do that with Power Tools mod, so it can just divide it by two. Alright, let's feed our two adult horses. Water them. Alright, they're topped off. I'd have to swing around the other way. I wonder if 
there dirty. You dirty. Yep. No, they're not. Do you think Uncle Billy would allow to use his milking parlor to milk your cows? I'm not walking them all the way over there. You crazy? Heck no, mate. Pop it off one more time. Get that other greenhouse topped off. That'll be it for watering stuff. Check my list. What else did Kevin Flores? Did I not read all his stuff? Oh, do you own a telescope? No. Did your son go fishing again after school today? Yes. He was gone for like three hours. <laughs> did he catch any? I didn't get to see him before he got home, before I went live, so I'm not sure. Uh, beans don't belong on chili? Yes, they do. Chili and beans? Of course chili goes with beans. That's what makes chili so awesome, is having it with beans, Kevin. My goodness. Everybody knows that. Crazy. Alright, gotta check my list. I'll let you guys look at the pigs while I look at my list. Hey, Ron, let's see here. Manure 13? Yes, April. Uh, sell sunflower. Ooh, haven't done that yet. Uh, we did the weeds. Um, hmm, there's a lot we haven't done. We did the baling of the hay. All right, we need to get the, uh, we need this rain to stop. That's what we need to do. Gotta get that rain to quit. Because we need to plant corn and sorghum. First, we gotta wait for the rain to stop. Which should stop around 11 o'clock. Let's see here. Maybe 12 o'clock? Yep, there we go. Alright, rain's done. It's about noon. Yeah, we definitely got to get some uh, fields planted here. Two fields. We're going to get hired workers going. So the D21 is going to be planting some corn. And then the John Deere over there is going to be planting sorghum. We'll get a little convoy going here. I overheard someone say Christmas is coming in a few months. It is. It is. Very much needs beans. Of course it needs beans. Kevin Flores is crazy. What's up, heavy hauler trucking? How's it going, brother? Beans and chili are that they are. They have to go together. You're the man. I can't hear much because of my son's sound machine. What kind of sound machines he got? Mr. McKinley is reminding everybody to hit that like button. But please, only hit it if you like what you're watching. Okay? I don't want any I don't want any fakers. Okay? Only like it if you actually like it. If you don't, then that's just fine. I understand. But if you do like it, give it a little slap tap a roozy. Alright? Yeah, and lock that. <laughs> Alright, let me see here. I'm gonna follow Alice. Oh. Maybe? Got a hired worker in there. He's going to follow us. All right, so my notes are telling me we're going to drill corn in field 13. That's the one we just covered in manure. We're going to hire someone to plant corn in that field. 
and then field 16, which is in between the two sunflower fields, I think. We're going to put sorghum in there. That rain's still coming down. What the heck? All right, there it goes. We just had to hit actual 12 o'clock. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's uh, just cut right over here. Hopefully that tree doesn't smack me. He will wait here. Dismiss him. All right, this is where we're going to get that sorghum planted. Field 13 here. We might run out of seed. It's a pretty good sized field, so we might be heading out here later to refill the cedar with seed. It holds about 3,700 pounds, which it's topped off there, as you can see. Nice. All right. Three headlands sharp clockwise. Bada bing, bada boom. And first waypoint. Let's get trucking here. So he's going to be dropping delicious sorghum. Sorghum is going to be a base food for our pigs and corn. So these two fields we're doing right now are all pretty much to take care of our pigs' base food needs. We might use some of the corn for the popcorn factory, but not much of it. Yeah, we're gonna let him do his thing there. I smashed the like button because I quit and quite enjoy all the streams, Frosty. Thank you, Brian. You have this game on the PS4, holla. Chili with beans and soup, beans do not belong. How you doing, Matthew Walter? <clears throat> I wrote a new Christmas song tonight, Frosty. I wrote some music for it tonight, too. <laughs> About the beans. Say that in a small town in Texas. Oh, get the Aldean out of here. Come on. <laughs> but over in Texarkana, they don't like putting beans in their chili. You remember the time the cows go in for milking? Six p.m. I think Pleasant said. Doesn't that sound right, chat? Six p.m. All right, he's gonna be fine. We're gonna leave him alone. He's got this. So look at this. Bottom right corner, ninety-nine percent yield. Uh, good pH, good nitrogen. Takes about four months for sorghum to uh, be ready to harvest. Five months, actually. All right. We're gonna move this guy over to field 13, which is a, a doozy. All right, Hunter, I appreciate that, Daddy. Don't say that, my birthday is the eve of Christmas, says Mouse, is it really? Do you like having a birthday on Christmas or not really? I'm new here. Can I see the barn? Oh, Mr. Lewis. Just getting in here, brother? I'll show you the barn here in a minute. I got to get this guy set up planting some corn. Yeah, we'll drill the corn or plant the corn into this big field right here. 13. Let's see. There shows you the route. It's going to do three headlands and then back and forth. All right. Looks like Elizabeth Sturdy's at it again. There she is. All right, decent planting. I think she planted last time on the D21. She loves that tractor, I tell you. All right, don't mess up, though, or you're fired. 
just getting here. Sorry, long day at work today. That's all right. All right. I'll show it. Mandy McKinley. What's going on, Mandy? Is your birthday in on Christmas? Do you get double gifts? That's what I've always wondered. Or do you get the short end of the stick? You know what I mean? Yeah, my, one of my best friend's birthday was Christmas Day. And he didn't care for that. He thought he was getting gypped. I mean, you, you're going to get gypped no matter what. It's just how it is, you know? How pleasant. Doesn't that look pleasant? Very nice. All right. So we're going to leave those two workers to uh, take care of our two fields here. So corn is going in at 100% yield out of the 100 potential. Good pH, perfect nitrogen, about six acres of corn we'll have in about seven months from now. End game months, of course. Mr. Lewis wants to see the uh, new cow barn. So let's show it to him. And that goes for anybody else that may have not seen the tour. I'll do a quick tour. So this is by Pleasant View Farms. It's the old school cow barn. It is not public yet, but he does hope to uh, try to get it on the mod hub, he said. But here you go. Here's our tour. We got gates on each end here. So you can do a little loop around if you're like using a feed wagon. Manure pile spawns right here and goes all the way to here. We had it almost full earlier. We already used it up. And look how much is here already. Holy crap. It was empty. And since we fast forwarded to noon, which was only like three hours, it's made 3,600 liters of crap. Dang. All right, here's the feeding trough. That's where you can feed them hay, grass, TMR, whatever floats your boat. Over here is where you deliver, pick up, sell, buy your animals. All right. Then going over here, we got tons of uh, bedding areas for the cows to just relax in the shaded canopy. All the straw can be given just by dropping a straw bale right here or anywhere. Anywhere that's on the part where they would lay, you can just sit it there. Or if you want to shred hay or shred straw. You just park around here and blow it right into this area. Same thing. You can put bales on the sides or blow straw into the pen. All right, we walk all the way down to the end of the hallway and make a left. That brings us into the beautiful milking parlor, which we will be checking out here before the end of the show for sure. Uh, he said that the cows show up at a milking time at night and in the mornings at between 6 and 8 p.m. and 6 and 8 a.m. So twice, you know, morning and night, they'll show up in here for milking. And that's going to look cool. And the lights will come on at that time and everything. So you got the little magnetic uh, pumps and system, all that cool stuff that sends the milk over here into the milk room milk tank the storage this is where all the milk goes and then out here is where you collect the milk with a trailer you know like a tanker and collect your milk to go deliver it to the dairy or sell it whatever you like to do right here is a place to drop the mini bales so far he's he only said the mini bales the little 120s those little square bales you drop them here, it automatically stores them up in the attic. This little door takes us to the attic. We also have a light switch. Right there. On, off. Now it's on. Yeah, you drop those little bales down there. And they'll all store neatly up here. And it looks like it can hold a crap load. It looks like it can hold 1,756 mini bales in this attic, which is quite a bit. If we did have any mini bales in here, we will in the future. But if we had some, we would just open this door. You don't even have to open that. But you would click on this. See how it says storage empty. 
If it had any in there, we could spawn however many we want. And he said they will appear out in the uh, farm, the barnyard there. And then you can do whatever you want with them. Pick them up, put them in each of the uh, bedding areas. You know, very cool. It's got a very real feeling to it, for sure. I always have trouble getting through doors on farm sim. Little thin hallways. I always get stuck in them. I need to cut back on whatever I'm eating, huh? Yeah, pretty stinking cool, huh? What do you think, Mr. Lewis and everybody else that may have seen that for the first time, the tour? Pretty slick, eh? Not bad, eh? Very nice. And of course, I'm using enhanced animal system that gives you the uh, baby calves and you, you get to raise them up till they're, you know, adults. Pretty cool. Slurry spawns over here. This is where you load up your slurry tank. And this is where the uh, slurry accumulates. So he even put a area here, like in real life, you would you know, kind of move the slurry sometimes. You like scrape it all the way over here, kind of push it into the pit. So that's what that opening's for. Pretty cool. Yep, that's where you collect it. So what do you think? Very nice, isn't it? Too shabby. Back on the farm sim. We're back on it, ghost. A very awesome job, Mr. Pleasant. Looks awesome. Love Isn't that nice, Mr. Lewis? I'm excited for the, uh, the, the parlor, though. The milk parlor. If I forget to show you guys, I'm... Whew, you guys won't let me forget. But if I do forget, I'm going to be so mad if I forget to show you that. All right. So we got two people out there seeding and planting. And knock that off my list. April drilling sorghum corn. Now we're going to do... Uh, now we need to make some money so we can buy some pig food. Sadly. Because I don't have anything else to feed the pigs except soybean. And I don't want to feed them soybean because I want to sell my soybean. Because look how much my soybean's worth. Look at the soybean right here. Holla. I mean, we have till July. This is gonna be worth like a quarter million dollars. Max value, 334. So I could give the pigs a little bit of soybean, but that's the only crop I have in storage right now. We've, the pigs ate everything else. Most of it. Yeah, look at that. 2,500 bushels of soybean. Yep. And then if we take a look at the pigs, uh, they're hurting a little bit, huh? They, they just got a smidgen of each thing. So I was thinking maybe buy like four bags of pig feed. Hopefully that'll get us by for a little while. It's expensive. Ugh. I see. Where's that cow, cow barn located? It's not public yet, buddy. It should be. He's trying to get it on the mod hub. So hopefully that goes through. Ooh. Ah. I forgot our grass field can be covered with uh, slurry. Since we don't have much manure anymore. Yeah, that was too much manure, chap. I think that was a good idea getting rid of the uh, <laughs> what was over there. A little too much. Let's see here. Painting. Gravel. Uh, 
Good enough. Good enough, man. All right, let's get to the other things on my list. Uh, milk delivery. We'll take the pickup truck down. Uh, let's throw this on here. To some of Miss Frousty's strawberry jam. Hop into this Chevy. All right, roll out. That looks safe. A pallet of strawberry jam on top of eggs. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with that, laddie. It's just fine. Tipsy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Wow, look at our guys working out there. Look at that. So that's the sorghum field getting uh, drilled right now. Looking beautiful. Very nice. And then our weeding guy, I think that was Matt Lane. He's all done. I need to remember to put him away. I'm just going to park him off to the side so I don't forget. Good job, Mr. Lane. That sunflower field is weed free. Nice little tractor, huh? Yeah. What's up, Van Bowski? I'm back. Just went shopping. Internet all back up for you, Ian. There's the D21 knocking in that corn into the field. Oh, yeah. I tell you, we got some good hired workers, don't we? I barely have to do anything. Let them take care of it while we do all the money making, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is that your first time seeing it, Rhett? What's up, Red Acres? How you doing today, Vambuski? Doing all right? I think it's a cooking. Lots to do in the warehouse. Dang it. All right, let's get to work here. We uh, let's get the little truck first. We got a couple small deliveries and then some bigger ones. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go to door number two. Whew. Running into everything tonight. Uh, what? No, Miss Frosty is your passenger. I turned it off because of the one... Because of that John Deere tractor. I can put her back on. Because she was, like, hanging off the side of the one tractor. <laughs> it looked weird, so I turned it off for a little bit. Uh, but we can put her back in there. There she is. There's Miss Frosty riding shotgun. So I think it's what sunflower oil. Let me check these prices here. We got cheese, butter, wooden planks, and sunflower oil. Let's 
Let's see if any of them are going to the same place. Butter is going to wholesale. Cheese is going to Route 22. Sunflower is going to fast food restaurant. Planks and butter are going to wholesale. Planks and butter. So all this is going in one big trailer. This can go in the little truck. Yes, sir, Bobby. Oh! Looks like my neighbor's box truck. Not yet. Okay. Need to check on for the workers. How's everyone? I'm doing really good, Bam Baisky. I hope you're doing good too, buddy. I am doing just fine. Alright, what's he in door two? Shove that in there. Oh my gosh, did that literally just fall off the dock? <laughs> you piece of crap. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, we'll just hand load that one. There you go. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to happen. That is not how that was planned. Then on out. Strap it in. Thousand liters of sunflower oil. That's gonna go to the fast food restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Here we come. That is on the other side of town. Man, I think I've ran into every flipping thing we can run into tonight. <laughs> Having some bad luck here, ain't I? All right, off we go. Ace. Uh, Frosty, have you heard the new one? Yes, I have heard that, Kellen. How you doing, Ted Springer? All's well, ribs still broken. It's been a pain in my rear, I bet. Ugh, but you're recovering slowly. At least there's recovering going on, right? Yeah, ouchie. Anyone have an issue with Mod Hub not loading in? It happens occasionally. Yeah. I don't know what that means. When it, I don't know if it's like Giants servers or what. But yeah, every once in a while, I'll have trouble with it, but not not very often. Every once in a blue moon. I had some French-speaking Canadian truck drivers come to the farm today. It was very entertaining. They were still green truckers, and I had to teach them how to unload with no pallet jack. Oh, it's not very nice. So they they went home. Uh, they went home a little sweaty, is what you're saying. Put them to work. T-bone city night. Traffic's heavy. Yeah, sunflowers at a good price. We only had one pallet, but hey, I'd rather sell it when it's in demand than hold on to it. All right, speed limit's 50, and they're going 31 miles an hour. What's up with that, man? That ain't speed limit. This ain't driving Miss Daisy. Alright, the grass is growing back here. Remember when we cut the grass? It's starting to grow fresh. Grow back again. Alright, there it goes. Nice. So about $6,400 on one pallet. 
That brings us up to 24 grand. Take a little shortcut here. Do a little off-roading. I think there should be a somewhat of a shortcut through here. Just drive through the grass between the fields. <laughs> wow. There's just weeds in that field anyway. It ain't hurting nothing. Look at that. Nice little shortcut. Interesting, the last French Canadian truck driver was just as shocked as we didn't have a dock and had to unload box by box off the pallets. Always knew you were an accident waiting to happen, Frosty, pretty much. Farm sim, you know, the physics aren't that realistic so there is a lot of wrecking that's my excuse right, so there's our little straight truck delivery box truck all right what do we got next let's uh get a 53 foot in there <clears throat> do, do. in the uh, door three. Eh, we'll put it right where the dock door is open. Doors are open. I'll just back her in nice and straight. That's not straight. Drop the air in the trailer. Bump the dock. Go. Bum, bum, bum. All right, looks good. <clears throat> all right, so we need to put all the butter and wooden planks in the one load. Let's get to it. We couldn't unload by hand what we had. We had those 3,000 pound sea bags, like the big bags on. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. That was like watching, uh, what's his name? Clarkson Farm that first time he had to unload bags into his uh, barn. I forget if it was seed. I can't remember what it was. I think it was seed. But that was entertaining. He was using a telehandler, I think. That was a fun, funny episode. Try to run these down the middle. Because we found out last episode that if you load things left or right of the trailer, it like leans, which is super cool, but try to do a nice job this time.
up in Ohio, we're getting hit with a bad rainstorm. Just had to clean sewer water from my basement. One inch of water. Ooh. Not too good, man. I sent a photo I made. I don't know if it makes sense. Sorry for pestering you and DMS. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, man. Shove it. Right there. Man, I love this little warehouse. I don't know about you guys. I love it. So much fun to operate in. So I have had a sawmill in the background going. I haven't been using it a whole lot. I've only cut down like four trees, but it has produced quite a bit of planks. Um, I don't know. We just we've always been too busy. I haven't shown showed it showed it to you yet. Let's down stack that. It's 107 there. Woo! Keep the sub pump clear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I could have put the cheese in the uh, straight truck, dang it. Shouldn't have put that away. Sliding around a little bit, four pallets. Am I doing a good job loading, guys? Have I been working without the lights on? Shame on me. Safety first. I had the lights off. That warehouse makes storing stuff very convenient, and I use it a lot. I love it. Thanks for telling me where to find it. Right on that mod hub. It is a good one, isn't it? I knew you would like that warehouse. It's, it's I love it. Quadruple A. Love it. And you can store like 2,000 pallets in it, which I'm nowhere near that. But I feel like I got a lot of stuff in storage from all our productions. How about we put these on the tail end? Nah, we'll shove it all up the front. Ow! We're definitely taking this over the way station to see what it comes out to. Right. Get her done. Ooh, she's sagging on the front end of the yard dog. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Crunch. Let's strap it down. Get the air up on there. Woo! Yeah, she's struggling. <laughs> We're gonna break our yard dog. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't help either. All right, there we go. Blinkers off. Shut her down. All right, cool. Go grab the big trip. We will use the little truck to do the final delivery. I, sh I, I don't know why I put it away. Let's see. We go. Here in Illinois, it's going to be 110 tomorrow. 
I finally get to catch this live. Been watching the whole series, says Robert. You like it? I hope you like it. Is the new JD5403 that got released an American tractor? Oh, it looks American. It's got the American triangles on it, and I don't know. It's by Sleutch Modding. Pretty sharp ride, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Like a little garden tractor. It's not very big. 66 horsepower. All right, we got 11,000 on the planks, 5,000 liters of butter. Both of these are going to wholesale. Butter and planks. All right, so we should make uh, close to 65 Gs on this delivery here. Let's roll. Very short delivery right down the road on the right hand side. Like right here. But I think that's an exit only, so we're gonna go up here and make a right. Come in the main entrance. Kevin Flores, thank you for the $10 super chat. It says, Frosty, a 14-year-old boy went fishing at a lake in Minnesota and caught a whopping wallop with the $2,000 in it. He returned it with the info inside. What would you do if your son came back with that? Oh, I'd go shopping. I'm kidding. Yeah, I would try to see if anybody lost it. <laughs> I'd, well, I'd find out where he found it, of course, and then get in contact with, you know, any place close to that business-wise. Because that is a lot of money. Would you want to lose 2000 I know I wouldn't. I'd be very thankful for someone to try to find the person that it belongs to. Plus, it's a wallet. So, hopefully, there's an ID in it and a way to get in touch with the person. But, yeah, yeah. I've lost my wallet. And then never found it before. That was back in college. I remember I left it in a just a like a lounge room and came back and it was gone. Never saw it again. <laughs> Sucked. All my stuff was in it too. No, that was not a happy camp. Alright, here we go. Top right corner, Daddy. Yeah, look at that top right corner. My night. All right, 61, 64, 60, about $65,000 we just brought in there. Come on, baby. You know you like that. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I know you like that. You don't have to lie about it. Just say it. You love it. 65 Gs. We're sitting at 88 grand. And that is good because we're going to need it. You know what? We're already hooked up to this truck and trailer. We'll just run the cheese uh, right into this trailer here. I don't feel like switching to the little box truck. So this will be called like a, a hot shot load. Or you just throw like a few pallets on a big trailer and run. Get it done. Go into this uh, back dock here. Drop the air. There we go. Going pretty smooth. Look at that. Not bad. Almost looks like I backed in trucks before or something. Fresh cheese coming up. Well, actually, this might be some old cheese that's been in storage for a long time. But that makes it tastier. It's aged. Aged cheddar. See? Delicious. Ooh, some of it's even got some mold on it. Very nice. Extra taste. Extra spicy. It's 
So that should be about 3,000 liters of cheese. We'll sit it right in the middle of the trailer. Try to even out the weight. There we go. Told you that'd be quick. See? I love it when you go into focus mode. <laughs> uh, thank you again, Kevin, for the $10 super chat and the 20 bomb earlier. Wolf Shade, Elizabeth Sturdy, Ann McPherson, Ian W. Thank you all for the super chats. Bent Farmer with the super chat earlier. Thank you guys for supporting the uh, show. If you'd like the support even further, just hit the like button. That's all you gotta do, chat. That's all you gotta do. How many reactions we have? We broke 200. Appreciate that. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the uh, old school American farming series. This is episode 10 today. We've done 10 episodes of this series. All right, cheese wheels. Let's see where those are going. Cheese is going to Route 222 Diner. Come on down, baby. Get her done. Should be a l decent chunk of money right here. I forgot to weigh that load, too. I totally forgot to weigh the big load. Dang it. Yes. Screwed up. All right. The diner is right down here past the wholesale factory on the right hand side. That air ride up on the trailer. There you go. Got to pull right in here, close to the diner. Little nice little restaurant on the side of the road. Oh yeah! All right, we just made 17 grand on three pallets of cheese. That just broke a hundred grand for our uh, bank account. Not too shabby. cool little diner. Did you know you can look inside that diner, too? Like, it's got an interior. Look at this. Can't go inside, but look at that. Got a little bar in there with little uh, tables and chairs. Isn't that cool? Cool. It's got burgers, mixed salad, hot dogs, french fries. So we deliver cheese so they can smother the fries and make cheeseburgers. And you can dump some on your hot dog if you want. Elizabeth's done planting the corn. Looks like she did a beautiful job. Look at that. Excelente. Stuff. We're going to let a few cars pass here. Maybe more than a few. So we can get turned around here. <laughs> nice. Off we go. Who pays 17k for cheese? It's some good cheese, man. I'm just saying. Uh, James Oster says thanks for the stream, and I want to say good night. Hope you have a great night. Also, thank you again, Frost. You have a good night, James. Sleep well, sir. I know a lot of people got to head out and go to. Go to sleep for work tomorrow. So thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the support. <clears throat> so we got all our stuff sold that was in demand. So we're going to head back to the farm now. But yeah, sitting at 105 grand. We're going to, like I said, we'll buy like three or four bags of pig feed. 
then, uh, ooh, I forgot milk. We do need to do a milk delivery. I forgot all about that. I forgot about the milk. Sorry. Nice little warehouse session, huh? I'm getting quick. I'm getting better at it each time we do it, too. Alright, let's go get some milk. Twenty-one thousand six hundred on the lightweight. Not that we'll be coming back here. We'll be getting the milk out of uh, both pens. There's just a little bit in Farmer Billy's. We'll steal it out of there and uh, our farm. <clears throat> Good evening, Frosty and Chat. I hope you have a had first-class week so far. It's been first class. I've left. I've lost several purses. One in a phone box, uh, and a big makeup bag. I got some of the purses back with the money is still in them. I also left a jacket in a bus shelter. Thanks for the praise. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm better now that I'm older. But when I was younger, I did. I was very forgetful. I'm still forgetful, but. Like, I'd leave things, I'd forget where I put things more as a kid, I guess. Like, now I just have designated spots where things go. Like, when I am when I get in the house, there's a specific place. I put my wallet, my sunglasses, the keys. Like, it's always, it's like, embedded in my brain that that's where it goes. You know, growing up as a kid, you just kind of throw it wherever. It's easier to misplace things, I guess. You too, Amanda. Have a good night, Amanda Willis. Thank you for tuning in. Gonna get me some milk. So here's what we're gonna do, chat. Here's what's left on the list. We're gonna pick up milk from Farmer Billy's house. I already picked up pallets. We sold the sunflower. We did all that. Our two helpers are planting and drilling. All we got left after milking the cow, or uh, after after getting the milk, is buying pig food, feeding the pigs. Probably got to buy some chicken food because we don't have anything to feed the chickens. So we'll get them topped off. That'll be just about it. And then, of course, we're going to check out the uh, milking parlor at the very end. All right. So we're going to swing back here to the rear end of the barn. That's where you collect the milk. Which there's not a whole lot in there at the moment. but Did I create this good enough to uh, make this swing? Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at that landscaping. You know, you got to think of that stuff when you're landscaping. Did I leave enough room to back a truck in, you know? All right, so that's the milk collection point for this barn. Bottom right corner, there's only 14, well, let's switch that to tons. Three quarters of a ton of milk there. <laughs> Not much. But they'll produce more in the future. My cow barn up here, that's the one that brings us in the big bucks at, at the moment. 
It's been bringing in like close to 30,000 liters of milk a month. So once that dairy mill's topped off, it's just all profit that you just sell outright. It's where all our butter and cheese comes from at the production. And if we have time, we could drop some slurry on that grass field we cut at the beginning of the show. All right, over at my farm, the milk collection is right behind the trailer there. Right about there. Oh man, she's filling up 20 tons already. It's still going. All right, 20, about 26 tons of milk. Alla. That's about a 60% full tanker trailer of milk right there. Someone was asking about uh, the international truck that got updated today. I did trade in the Mac for the international. So we're rocking this uh, international old truck right now with the uh, grain bed on it. That'll be used for harvest, you know, to uh, deliver our crops and stuff. Yeah, I love it. Very cool looking truck. You don't have to sit. Relax, Miss Frosty. Lean back and relax. You don't have to be so proper. Excited to use that. <clears throat> All right, let's deliver that mail. Frosty, didn't you want to sell the soybeans? Well, I'm when they're in demand. They're not in demand until like July. I said I didn't want to waste them on the pigs. I'd rather just buy a few bags of pig feed to get them to survive until like the corn or sorghum. Sorghum will be the first thing to harvest. So if we can, yeah, you know, I might have to give them a little bit. But that soybean that's in the silo, when it's in demand, is worth like 300, over 300K. So I, I just want to hold on to it, you know. Is that guy done working over there? Yep. Both hired workers finished their jobs. So sorghum and corn planted all my fields now that we own. <clears throat> have a crop in it. So, there's our growth filter there. Uh, 12, 3, and 2. I think those are canola. Yeah. So, yeah, every field I, I own, we have two fields with cotton, two fields with wheat, a barley field, two canola fields, two sunflower fields, sorghum, and oats. I skipped uh, potatoes this time since we made like a crap load of french fries. So yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't plant any potatoes this year. This is year two of this, uh, this series. We are in the second year. So potato factory, french fry factory there is going to be kind of not getting much action this, this season. All right, we'll stop at the dairy mill first. Top that off. I think it's already almost full, which is good. That means the rest will be profit. And I'm fine with that. Here we are at the dairy mill. Get that filled up. Oh yeah, 19 tons left over. Good stuff. 
So dairy mill, completely full. 26,000 gallons of milk. They'll continue pumping out butter and cheese. We are going to find out where the best place to sell milk is. So wholesale, the big wholesale factory is paying $7.98 a gallon. I think that's what that means. So we're taking it there. Ha! That's the big uh, grain mill factory. Here we go. Speaking of sorghum, do you like molasses? Eh. That was one of my least favorite cookies growing up molasses cookies something about the aftertaste like while you're eating it it tastes good but something right after that ugh, some weird like i don't know anybody else know what i'm talking about with molasses cookies or anything molasses it's like a, like a weird aftertaste so yeah not a big fan of that just finished my oat harvest on Leona. The fields aren't course play or AI helper friendly, so it's all manual. Ah, oh, that's because it has all the, uh, all the, uh, whatchamacallits. Ah. What's the name? What's the type of those fields called? Uh, crap. Remember chat? Leona, PA, and Westby, they have the contours. Where they're all like close together. Yeah, course play. <clears throat> course play doesn't like those type of fields. It thinks it's all like one massive field. I remember that. Alright, so we're selling right here at the wholesale factory. 19 tons of milk. This will be a nice payday. Give me that money. Drain it. Top right corner. Keep an eye on that. That thing's going to go real high. I like that. Milk. Milk does a body good. It does Farmer's Frosty's bank account good, too. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, baby. Like, like 30, 38 grand on milk. Oh, we're sitting at 144 grand about. Good stuff, mine. Good stuff. Wait till uh, Pleasant View's cow barn. Ow! Wait till his cow barn, all the cows we have, grow up and produce milk. Then we'll have two cow barns just annihilating. Milk's just going to be splashing all around this farm, all around the city. Frosty's Milk Company. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. All right, go through the truck truck wash. Abracadabra, kadooba, dooby. Boom. Nice and clean. Stuff. Uh, once you buy pig food, all that money. I know. Well, I'm not buying a bunch of pig food, just like four bags. I'm going to try to doctor. I'm going to keep an eye on how fast the pigs are eating that food so we can survive till the harvest comes. All right, all done with the warehouse tonight. Lights off. All the doors are closed. Right. Head back to the house. When you sell stuff, you want more in the green or the red. You want it in the green, Cameron. That means you get a good profit. Okay? When it's in the red, well, take th I take that back. It depends. Sometimes... It's still a good price. You just got to keep an eye on it, like uh, sunflower oil. Even though it's got a red arrow, that just means the price is declining. It doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, 6,100 compared to 6,400, 
it's not a huge difference. I'd say sell it. But uh, something like wood chips. Look at these wood chips. They're only worth uh, 803. Wait a minute. Uh, value 340. Max value is worth 687. So if selling wood chips would be dumb to do right now. You'd want to wait till January, like it says. And if you use the time saving stock, the max month will turn green. Well, yeah, the whole thing will highlight green. That'll let you know, like, these. this green price is good. Sunflower oil. Yellow means not bad. Good price. If it's not yellow or green, you probably should hold on to it till it's worth more money. That's what I would do. All right, Miss Frosty. Let's get this old Chevy back to the house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. All right. Just curious as to what got updated on that truck. Uh, a lot. They put an extended um, frame, and then they did the uh, frame that holds the different attachments. I think TLX attachments, BC Bueller's attachments. Because before it was just a little semi truck. So, huge overhaul on the update. And it's got all kinds of weird accessory mods. I don't think they all really look that good. But I love how you can add the, the beds and stuff. You know what? Let's get a convoy going here. Sorry, Miss Frosty. Got all this crap to bring back to the house. Might as well have everybody follow me home, right? Alright, so we'll have Alice follow me. She didn't ran out of she didn't run out of seed. She was down to uh twenty-three percent uh seed in the planter. Nice. Right, so we'll have them follow. Go. You can drink hot molasses just like hot chocolate. Blech. What's up, Sean Barnes? Uh, Kevin Flores coming in with another $5 super chat. Says, if anybody ever had Worcestershire sauce, you've had molasses. Leah and Perrins is the best. Yeah, I don't like that sauce. So there you go. That explains why I don't like that, because I don't like molasses. Interesting. Very interesting. What's up, Scooty Pooty? When'd you get in here? I, I was asking about you earlier. I got your little lights on uh, Pleasant View's cow, cow barn. So it lights up at night and looks nice and pretty. Alright, then we'll have the John Deere follow Alice. How do you change it from liters to tons with the convert mod? Control, right control plus right shift plus X, uh, question mark. They're all right next to each other. Right control plus right shift plus that. <laughs> yeah. Try that. Alright, so he's gonna follow the Alice. Oh, those little hairs are just driving me nuts. Alright, and then uh, the caboose will be the 4020 diesel there. That'll follow the rest of these jack whackers. Hopefully he didn't run out of seed. Oh yeah, he barely used any seed. 75% full. You're welcome, simulation. 
I've been talking to you for the last half hour or so. Yeah. Yeah, 19 tons of milk. What are we buying tonight? All kinds of stuff. I'm having a hard time focusing tonight, Scooty. All right. But I was talking about you, I swear. At the beginning of the show, I was. Because I was showing everybody the little, the little spotlights. All right, we got a big combo here. I think we'll shut down traffic for a minute. Just because that's quite a few people following me. Traffic off. Just so it's a smooth ride home. They'll eventually show up. Yeah, there they come. See? They're back there. Little tractor party. Look at that. <laughs> uh, good evening, Andrew Bedard. Hello. And follow me work at the following vehicles going in reverse. Uh, let's try. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I guess reverse doesn't work. Let's see if Alice stops and backs up. Nope. Yep, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't identify reverse. parade it's a parade good evening go to nighttime no Kevin not yet not yet okay how many cows does the cow barn hold pleasant views holds a hundred this one on the map holds like 45 I think but yeah his holds a hundred gonna go. that's light enough it wouldn't cave through the barn. It shouldn't be too heavy, right? This, this is probably too much John Deere stuff for Scooty's stomach to handle. It's probably dry heaving right now. Uh, I'm doing good, Andrew. Solar says, I just saw a very unique way of making bales on Facebook. I'm an attempt at myself. I'll send pictures in the Discord when I figure it out. All right. There is something that we are going to invest in for uh, small bales. It's a wacky machine. It's expensive, though. I'll show you here in a minute. It's something I've been uh, putting on the back burner. But it's a wacky looking machine. It's something from, I don't know how old of a machine it is, but uh, I'll, see what, I'll see what you guys think. 
Because right now we have a little John Deere square baler that does the minis. But I want to show you guys this. Uh, it's actually, it's not a baler. It, I think it collects. It only collects the mini bales, I think. It doesn't work correctly. <clears throat> she didn't ran out of the seed. Man, you really have been playing farm sim so long. Two country, hey? Yep. All right, I'll show you guys. <laughs> so I think it's under... Miscellaneous? I don't know what it would be, what category it would be in. There, yeah, there it is. The New Holland Stack Cruiser 102. 158 grand. Look at this thing. <laughs> it is a real machine, too. I, I believe it's a real machine. So this thing probably folds over and goes down and then scoops up the little square bales. And then it can hold up to... Uh, I'm not sure how many. It says 195 liters, but maybe that means 195 bales. The 120s, the little square bales. So it'll stack them all in here nice and neat, make a big old box of them. Uh, interesting, huh? <laughs> That's something we'll probably be able to afford once it's time to harvest a field. We still got a couple months before there's a harvest. So hopefully more productions to sell by then. All right, let's buy some pig feed. Interesting machine, huh? The animations are almost good. Oh, you tried it? I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, that thing is awesome. I just... You, you used it? Okay, so a couple of you people used it and said it works all right. In real life, it holds 169 bales only. Oh, really? So it holds 190-something in the game. It is real. I have one and haul 60 to 70,000 small bales each year. For a couple different farmers in my area, says Doug Barber. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited to use that. That's expensive, though. Woo. Feed, John. We're not feeding the pig pig feet. We're pig, pig feed. All right, so... A little pricey. I'm going to get four bags for $3,600. That's 4,000 liters. That's going to cover all categories of uh, ingredients. And hopefully, we'll uh, hold them over for a month or two. I don't know. They don't seem to be eating food at a high rate, so that's good. That is good, yes? No? Yeah? two Fords on the farm now. The big Ford and the little baby Ford. Right. Let's get her done there. Spread them forks. Fresh pig feed coming on up. Yeah, the reason we ran out of pig feed was because I, I gave all the potatoes to the french fry factory. 
I gave most of the wheat and barley to the flour factory. And by, you know, all we had left was soybean and and the corn, I gave a little of the, to the pigs, but the rest I gave to the popcorn factory. So yeah, I didn't uh, calculate our crops very well. I'll try to do better this, this season, huh? Bears are looking pretty good. Geez, this technique seems more time consuming than just running a baler on the mode field. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm gonna bail the field. And then use that thing to pick them up. It'll be fun, something different to do. Wow, wow. All right. So let's take a look at our pigs before we dump this. So the, here's where they're sitting at, 5,500 liters capacity. Uh, they're almost completely out of root crop, so it's going to give a little bit in each category. Oh. Got to put those flashers on for Mac Morrison. Safety first in the farmyard. So it didn't look like much, but that brought them up to almost 10,000 liters, and it added a little bit to each category. We'll see how they do. Hopefully they'll last. Uh, I just want to keep the health at 100. That's the main thing. So these guys are all 14 months old, and they're worth 472 bucks a piece. And we've got 150 of them in there. Uh, not counting the piglets. They're not worth as much, but still, that's a good chunk of money, man. And with enhanced animal system, after they reproduce, it sells the older ones. So you start slowly seeing uh, a little income each month once they start <clears throat> reproducing. Where am I going? Oh, now we got to do chicken feed. I forgot. Chicken feed. So let's buy three bags of chicken feed for $4,200. Man, that hurts. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, chickens. Yeah, they're almost out. So three bags will almost fill them up. And that'll keep them at 100% health. You know what I mean? Sir, don't think I've forgotten about that swing video you still have to upload. I, I still need to do it. I need to swing the club again. I'm still sore from doing that. <laughs> I need to update the butcher for you. Then you can properly manage your little piggies before they start really eating. <laughs> yeah, I have your animal... Well, your edited... You know, you know, I have the meat production on the survival series and the Ohio Richland. But who knows if we'll ever go back to Ohio Richland. Awesome map. I just, you know, after a while, some maps I never go back to. <laughs> I just get burned out or get enjoy the, the current ones I'm on more. I somehow turned the big cow barn lights on, and now I can find the trigger to shut them off. Fair enough. Doesn't handle the male ones yet. Sells the older one. That's the most humane way of explaining that. <laughs> That's right. Well, technically, 
the farmer sells the pig. What happens to it afterwards? I don't know. Could make a very nice pet for someone. Could, uh, Kevin Flores could buy one to hang out in the pool with him. I don't know. Is this a PC map only? No, Andrew Bedard, this is cross-platform. It's called The White Farm. And you can use it on console. Yes, sir, Bobby. All right, that should take care of the chickens and pigs. I definitely planted a lot more. We ran out of straw so quick. That's why I planted a lot more crops that will give us more straw. So we'll get straw out of the barley, wheat, oats, and a big wheat field over here. So four fields are gonna provide straw this time compared to I think only a couple did last time. So we should have the double, double the uh, straw this year. It goes quick when you're mixing. I like to mix it in with the TMR and then all the straw bedding for all the animals. And now Farmer Billy's got cows, so we got to be able to straw bed for them. All right, chickens are getting fed. Eh, good enough. That'll get them to the next month at least. My cows are looking fine. Horses are good. Pigs are good enough. Farmer Billy's animals are fine. Look at them eating that food. Holy crap. Uh, we might throw one more hay bale in at Farmer Billy's cow, cow pasture. That'll probably be it check out the milk parlor here very shortly Ooh. all right let's uh whip out the trike Run it down to Farmer Billy's. Forgot all about our snowmobile when it was winter time. Dang it. We'll have to remember that next winter. Uh, Rhett, you would need to do it in Giant Setter Deer, Rigid Body. Course back home area sand creek very nice public course that has a bunch of usga tournaments tony you missed the whole show man we've been live for like three hours you jack whacker you missed it all how was work we have a splendid evening all right let's feed these guys some hay in the old Kubota. And we'll try to scoop it up with a manure fork. I don't feel like switching right now. There we go. Should have taken the skateboard. Eh. That thing was pretty dumb. <laughs> I didn't care for that. Make really nice bacon wrap scallops. I somehow turned the cow on my map. On my map, I have 250 chickens and the food limit is 25,000 liters. Oh, goodness, laddie. That's a lot. Crazy animal, you. All right. You know what? I'll leave that there. Because they eat like crazy. I'm just going to leave that bale sitting there. I think that gets us all caught up. 
everything's caught up. We'll uh, do the very end here. We'll check out that milk parlor. See what it looks like. I think he said 6 p.m., right, chat? 6 p.m. is when the lights come on and all the cows go into the, the milk parlor. Let's see if that's true. Ah. You just ran over three cows. Ah, don't worry about it. All right, here we go. We're going to fast forward time. Everything on the farm is pretty much caught up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, here we go. Going to fast forward to 6 p.m., I think it was. Which should be 1,800 military time. <laughs> there they are. There they are. They're ready for some milking. So the lights did come on there. And uh, the cows are all ready for some milking. Now if we could just click these on there, huh? That's pretty sweet, though. Look at that. They even got a waiting list. That's the waiting area. Sorry, you'll be up next. All right, Susie. Oh, Diana, how are you? Yeah, you'll be up next. So we got to wait for Pamela and Sheila. Just, just wait a minute, okay? We need to get some reading material in here. But how cool is that? That's pretty slick. Very nice. So I only have two of the grown-up female cows, but it does spawn in. It just kind of fills it for the animation. It just fills all the spots. That's super cool. Love it. Very, very nice. All right, so milking time is from six to eight, I think he said. So let's just go to the next hour. All right, they're still in there. Let's see what the other cows, I wonder if the other cows ever come in here to relax, like at the end of the day or they're still all chilling out. Man, they annihilated that hay bale. 10,000 liters. All the lights are coming on. Let's see if uh, Scooter's workbench lights are on yet. Yes. That is so cool. Let's go right about here. Stop the clock. Look at that, Scooty. There's Scooter's workbench little uh, spotlights I put in in front of all the uh, little trees there. Just kind of light up the barn at night. Ah, sweet. Looks so cool. And we got little lights above the uh, feed trough. What do you think of that, chat? Not too shabby. Can't call it a bullpen, because, well, you know, that's cool. Is that cow born out yet? Cow, uh, barn? No, it's not. Negative. All right, so they should disappear in eight minutes. I'm going to fast forward it real quick. And they're gone. Lights are off. They're out of the parlor. So two hours, six to eight. They do milking, and then 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. they do milking. That is cool. Stuff, man. Very cool. Isn't that nice, Rhett? Right. That's going to be it for me tonight, chat. That was a good, uh, that was a fun stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And special thanks to uh, Pleasant View again for uh, sharing this cow barn. It's awesome. Definitely have fun with it in the future. Once we get more milk producing there, huh? Uh, Mouse M, Gaming with Farm Boy. Have a good night, Tony Abbott. Tony Martig, Scooter's Workbench, says you could adjust it in the i3D using Notepad. Who are you talking to? All right. 
Everybody have a splendid evening, all right? We will be live probably tomorrow around 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Unless something comes up, I'll let you know in the community tab. But that is it. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for hitting that like button. If you haven't yet, smack it one more time on the way out. I think we've got how many reactions for the night? How'd we do? Have a good one, Pole, Cat, Solar, Ian, Ian W, Michael Beetle, Betts. Good evening, good night. John McKinley, have a good one. Frank Jones, Daniel Ricard, have a splendid one. Thank you for the super chats. Kevin Flores, thank you so much for all your super chats, as always. And then everybody else, thank you for uh, all the support to the channel. Thank you, Daniel. You too, buddy. Have a good one. All right. That's it. I'll catch you on the next one. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Good night.